So now that we've spent all this time making this beautiful application, let's deploy it to Vercel. Now, before we can deploy our Svelkit applications, we need to first get them ready for deployment using adapters. So before we can deploy our project, we have to adapt it based on where we want to host it. Svelte's solution to becoming serverless first in a world with many serverless platforms is through the use of adapters. Now these adapters are plugins that take your app as an input during build and generates an output suitable for deployment on a specific platform. If we take a look at SvelteKit's documentation on adapters, we see it provides adapters for Vercel, Netlify, Cloudflare Pages, as well as two non-service-based adapters, Adapter Static and Adapter Node. Depending on where you're hosting your app, you need to import the appropriate adapter. So for instance, if you were to host your app using Vercel, which we're going to, you would first need to install the Vercel adapter and add it to your project. Recently, however, a new adapter was created called Adapter Auto, and this is the default adapter. So anytime you create a new SvelteKit project, this adapter will already be installed and it makes deploying SvelteKit applications feel like magic. So if we move into our svelte.config.js file, we'll see that we're importing Adapter Auto and using it in this project. So there's no additional work needed on our end. We don't need to install any other adapters ourselves. And with Adapter Auto, this app can already be hosted on Vercel as well as other platforms. Now, if you're familiar with SvelteKit, you're probably wondering like, hey, don't we need to install the Vercel adapter? And a few months ago, this would have been true. You would have had to install and use the Vercel adapter in the Svelte config file before deploying. But now that we have adapter auto, it makes this step unnecessary. Basically, when we deploy this to Vercel, the adapter will automatically choose the appropriate adapter for the current environment. So in our case, when deploying to Vercel, it will detect that we're using Vercel and it will add the Vercel adapter for us. And the Vercel adapter will then create a Vercel app using a function for dynamic server rendering. So let's go ahead and test this out by deploying it to Vercel. First, I'm going to create a new repo on GitHub for this project, and I'm going to commit all my code to it. Now, if we head to Vercel.com, we can deploy this instantly. In our Vercel dashboard, we can click this button that says new project, and you'll notice that our new repo is now available for deployment. We'll simply import that repo and click deploy. Now our adapter auto is detecting that we're using Vercel and adding the Vercel adapter for us. And Vercel is doing all the configuration behind the scenes. And just like that, our app is deployed. You can click on it and check it out. This app is no longer running locally on the computer. Anyone can come visit it. So you can see that deploying a SvelteKit app to Vercel using the default adapter auto is extremely simple, but it's important to note that not all platforms are supported by adapter auto. In the case that you encounter a platform that's not supported by adapter auto, you may need to add that platform's adapter yourself, or you may need to use one of the non-service based adapters. So let's learn how to add the adapter node to our project. To do this, we simply need to install it by running the command npmi-d at svelte.js slash adapter dash node. And then we will swap our adapter auto out for adapter node like this. So now we have adapter node installed and when we build our app, it will generate a self-contained node app inside of the build directory. So let's go ahead and run the command npm run build in our terminal and look at what adapter node generates. So up here, we see this dot svelte slash kit folder, which contains our svelte code input. Depending on what adapter we use, this code will be used as the input to generate an output in our build folder. So if we open up the build folder, we can see our compiled code and notice there's no trace of Svelte. So in this case, we're using the adapter node, so the output will be a straight up Node.js app, which can be hosted anywhere that hosts Node. So that sums up adapters, and now you're ready to deploy your SvelteKit application to almost any platform.